to Chavez Thompson. A sharecropper's daughter, Chavez Thompson rose up the ranks to become executive vice president of the AFL-CIO by trying to improve the lives of some 5,000 women in trade organizations. As ABC News correspondent Lynn Schur recalled that night, Chavez Thompson began her career in the union in 1967 as a bilingual secretary. She brought women into union leadership by insisting that if 50 percent of members were women, they must be represented throughout the union's hierarchy. Chavez Thompson could not attend the dinner, but accepting for her is Dennis Hughes, president of the New York State AFL-CIO. On behalf of Linda Chavez Thompson, I want to thank Women's E News for this great honor. Linda Chavez Thompson is an extraordinary woman, a woman had, that was able to overcome great challenges and bring her sensitivity as the first woman executive offer, officer of the National AFL-CIO. She has made the commitment to change things in a very real way. Her courage, her ability to move things in a, in a progressive direction has changed the very fabric of the labor movement. So this is a great honor for me to represent Linda. And we both want to say that Women's E! News has provided a great outlet for progressive thought, particularly on issues that affect women. And on behalf of the five and a half million members of the AFL-CIO, we are deeply grateful. Thank you.